Ever feel like you wake up and a bam, your town's gone and reinvented itself? Uh huh. Yeah, the feeling of, did I miss a memo? Exactly. And that seems to be the vibe in Hillsboro, Oregon right now. Definitely caught my eye. Local papers fired up about it. That's actually what we're diving into today, this whole development project that's got everyone talking. Should be interesting, those local papers, they don't sugarcoat it. Right. Straight to the point. It's the Hillsboro Herald, by the way, for oh. anyone who wants to follow along. So we're talking Hillsboro, Oregon, already a bit of a tech hub, and now they're considering a major, major expansion. Yeah, I saw that hundreds of acres, right? Try 700. And it's right up against these existing neighborhoods, so you know that's causing a stir. This isn't just plopping down another shopping center either. No, no. Mm. This is serious stuff. Smaller and legacy technology fab sites, the article calls them. Which, for those of us who don't speak fluent tech jargon. Basically think semiconductor plants, all the industry that goes along with that. Yeah. Big, complex operations. Okay, yeah. Not exactly the image when you think peaceful suburbia. In the article, they actually used Google Earth images, you know, to overlay what this could look like. Pretty striking, quiet streets, schools. Suddenly there's these outlines of industrial complexes looming over them. I bet that got people's attention. Oh yeah, talk about a conversation starter. And then you get into the nitty gritty traffic, especially near schools, noise, light pollution. All the things make you go, hmm, not so sure about this. Right, and it's understandable people get concerned when you start talking about heavy industry near residential areas. What about the environment? What about health risk? Those are big questions. Absolutely. But it's not so simple either, right? Yeah. Because the city, they're arguing this is about jobs, supporting businesses, economic growth. Classic dilemma, isn't it? Progress versus peace and quiet. How do you find that balance? And it gets even more complicated because this is playing into some bigger trends, too. Yeah, there was that mention of a state law, Senate Bill 4. Right, right. So that seems to be a factor here. From what I gather, it's all about streamlining these development approvals, especially when the state sees them as economically important. So... Potentially good for business, but maybe not so much for residents who feel like things are moving too fast. And speaking of fast, I read about a governor's hearing coming up. Yeah, this is interesting. Originally, it was about the state maybe acquiring a chunk of land, 373 acres for development. But the rumor mill's churning now. Some are saying the governor might use this to announce they want the whole shebang, all 1,700 acres in the city's proposal. Wow. Okay, now that's putting your cards on the table. No wonder folks in Hillsborough are glued to the news. So what's the mood on the ground? What are people saying about all this? Well, let me tell you, the comments section of that Hillsborough Herald article, it's basically a digital town hall meeting at this point. Oh, yeah. It's like every side, every angle, all playing out in real time. And it's not just random opinions, right? These are people who actually live there own homes, have kids in those schools. Yeah, exactly. They're not just armchair quarterbacks. They're feeling the pressure. One comment I thought was funny, but also kind of sad. They said, oh, great. So now my backyard view is going to be a semiconductor plant. Progress. Yeah, you see that a lot. That sense of, hold on, nobody asked me, me if I wanted to live next to an industrial zone. Right. Like, where's the community input? Mm -hmm. Was there a memo I missed? And it's not like everyone's anti-development. It's more nuanced than that. Of course, it always is. Saw one commenter said they were an electrician. Sounded pretty excited about the job possibilities. Sure, makes all sense. More construction, more industry. That's a paycheck for a lot of families. It's that whole debate, right? When does the benefit outweigh the disruption? Is there a way to do this without sacrificing what makes a town unique? Tough needle to thread, for sure. One person suggested maybe there are other locations. Like, why does it have to be right on top of where people already live? Ugh, the can't we all just get along solution. Good in theory, but real estate's a tricky business. The question is, are those in charge even listening to this stuff? Or is the 700-acre ball already rolling? Million-dollar question. Uh -huh. And I bet it's not just Hillsboro wondering this, right? This whole tech boom, it's changing the landscape everywhere. Oh, absolutely. You see this story playing out from coast to coast. Small towns suddenly become the next Silicon Valley, and then what? It's like that saying, right? You break an egg to make an omelet, but nobody asked the egg how it felt about all this. And in this case, the omelet's a semiconductor plant. Yeah. But yeah, point taken. Once these things are built, that's it. No going back. Exactly. And that's why everyone's watching this governor's hearing so closely. It's almost bigger than just Hillsborough now. Right. It sets a precedent. Like you said, is this how Oregon wants to handle growth? Yep. If they go for that whole 1,700 acres, it's a sign, isn't it? Economic development, 
full steam ahead. But what about those community concerns? Are they even on the radar at that point? That's what's fascinating to me. Will there be pushback? Will they demand more transparency from these developers, stricter environmental rules, all that? Or is it just assumed, well, you want jobs, right? This is the price. A tough spot for everyone. And nobody's saying it's easy. There's no simple answer. But it gets to the heart of things, doesn't it? What are our priorities? Short-term gain or what happens to these towns in the long run? I keep thinking about that comment. Somebody said, this is about the soul of a community. And it really is. More than just buildings and roads. It's how people live, you know? Yeah. Does your town still feel like your town if it's constantly changing? Makes you wonder, what can people even do about it? Yeah. If you're in a place like Hillsboro and this stuff's happening all around. It's easy to feel powerless, for sure. But I always go back to the basics. Stay informed, for one. Right. Knowledge is power, even if it's just <laughs> knowing what you're up against. Exactly. And then get involved. Local politics, those city council meetings that seem boring. Yeah. That's where decisions are made. Right to your representatives, all that jazz. It does make a difference. And honestly, just talking to your neighbors, getting people aware, that's huge. Because otherwise, it's, it's just you against the bulldozer. And nobody wants that. Well, on that note, we'll definitely be following this Hillsborough story as it develops. No doubt there'll be more twists and turns. Oh, count on it. These things rarely go in a straight line. And to everyone listening, we always say this, but seriously, what's going on where you are? Mm. Facing similar stuff, different battles. Tell us about it. Website, social media. Keep the conversation going. Because this isn't just some abstract problem. It's happening in real places to yep. real people every day. And those stories matter. That's how things change. People speaking up, sharing their experiences. Don't underestimate yourselves. Perfectly said. <laughs> All right, folks, until next time, stay curious, stay engaged, and most importantly, stay tuned.